welcome to your daily reading. I'm going to redo the reading because it was a little long. Plus, I really went into the astrology of it. So let's see. Um, let's. What's coming in here for Aries today? What do they need to see or acknowledge? I hope you guys are doing good. I actually feel pretty good. Um, maybe this is a really good solar eclipse. <laughs> We're aligning, you know, uh, Libra's aligning with Venus and Scorpio. The hidden, the secrets, the people we share our lives with. Containment. So we have con some things being contained. It's boiling. Stability to keep stability. Why is it boiling? Going through moon cycles. Some people who are water signs or they have water placements could be really affected by how they feel. Like their feelings are really passionate and strong. And so moon cycles can affect certain people. Something happened in the summer. Watchtower of the summer. Maybe since the last full moon in Virgo. We had the super moon, full moon, harvest moon in Virgo. We got remembering ancestors. Remembrance of the ancestors. Okay, is there anything else? Which is power? Okay. Invocation rituals. I was actually just thinking to myself, you know, I've been doing candle magic more, using white candles, pink, green, um, just to bring in positive energy. But I have here the invocation of the spirit. Invoking. Invoking spirit. Inv <laughs> Be careful what you invoke. <laughs> if you invoke something not so good it, usually it'll be cold icy cold the room will turn like ice there might be some bad smells like rotting garbage or uh anything like that rotting garbage sulfur ice cold room it's the first thing i notice like the room goes ice cold and you're like no 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 wrong turn wrong turn <laughs> okay we have embolic awakening We have the Divine Feminine. Feminine, Lady Goddess. Respect. I think there's something about respect of women in that. Feminine energy. The Goddess, the Mom, the Mother, the Feminine. Witch as Healer. Alternative Medicines. Alternative you know, um, the witch as healer, using alternatives. Maybe seeing a natural path or a, a holistic person. Herbal remedies is the word I was trying to think of. We got needing to establish boundaries. And then I have, most importantly, I have here your, your familiar guardian spirit, your pet. Your pets are going to protect you. They are the connection to the other side of the veil. Um, be mindful of how your pets are treated. They are your familiars. They're there to protect you. Because um, I, I have here the hex of banishment. This may have happened or... You may be dealing with these energies. Something in your energies may be around banishing. The high priestess or high priest of responsibility. Um, so the high priest of responsibility is to not, you know, um, cause harm. You can banish, but not cause, you shouldn't cause harm. You shouldn't say, I am going to 
inflict, you know, something. Um, being mindful. Oh, we've got a dedication altar. So some of you may want to create an altar that you can keep in your home of candles and little things to just center your energy and to bring in spirit around that energy. Candle magic. It's here again. Doing candle magic. Okay, so let's see what's coming in for Aries now. Okay, spirit angels and guys, please show us what's coming up for Aries. What do they need to see or acknowledge for today's energies? Ten of Swords. Feeling stabbed in the back or like something is over. The challenge is there are memories that you have with a person. Uh, there's someone here who is trying to manipulate, maneuver, ch change, fix, solve, maybe create an illusion. We have satisfaction, happiness, maybe a wish coming true. It is contentment and personal satisfaction. The Nine of Cups. Okay, again, we have the Seven of Water. We have something very confusing, unable to decide, a choice. Okay, so we have one, two, three. I'm gonna keep pulling. Well, you'll have a choice. And then I have so many, I'm gonna just, Let's see, what's coming in for Aries energy? Aries placements. You've made up your mind, three of wands. You could be following your heart. Someone comes towards you with their feelings. You could be ignoring them. Here's your energy. You're following your own path and someone comes towards you with how they feel. Hanging man, you want to pause, reflect, think about it. The death card with the truth. Someone moves on. Smooth sailing is ahead. There's a, there's a combative situation. And this possibly comes to an end with the death. There's some kind of closure. You get the truth or new information. The Ace, the ace of Swords. Um, Alright. So what is this all about for Aries? What is the outcome about? The Page of Cups, the Page of Coin. Messages coming in and out. Earth sign, water sign. Nine of coin, independent energy. You're doing your own thing on your own terms. You've made your choice. Wow. Two of swords, tough decision, chariot moving forward, king of water comes forward. Something is rejected or was rejected. All right. What is this death card about? Could be a Scorpio. Four of Cups. A rejection and a tower. Something is rejected. Seven of Swords. Four of Cups. Something is passed on or passed over, but then this tower comes in with a coin that's offered. And 
then this this uh, energy of needing to heal and release somebody is surprised they are angry this could be a work related issue somebody's angry they're mad they're blaming they're quite hostile four of cups is like rejection i don't want something and it comes in with the tower because something is offered here wow you will make a decision, Aries. You're going to make that decision. You're going to literally be at a crossroads and you're going to follow your passion. So, truth, ace of swords. Ace of Cups, Strong Powerful Emotions, and Chariot card, Determined to Go Forward. Someone's determined to go forward. Okay, we do have like, um, someone's very proud of their accomplishment and they're defending their position there's this victory. Someone's very proud of this accomplishment. There is a decision made by a higher order. And someone is arranging, fixing, or creating an illusion. Somebody is defending their position against others. And then this is offered. What is that? Why are you proud of yourself? The sun being optimistic, positive, happy, joyful, growth. What is the Ace of Swords? King of Wands. Somebody's picking up the wand taking action. They're giving you a pentacle. They're there for you. They're not... What is this Hierophant? The world card, a great accomplishment, a great achievement. Something changes and you come into your power as the emperor. It looks like something was being held back because of a choice was being made. Two of pentacles, nine of swords, four of coins. It's like it was very worrisome or bothersome because it was being held back from you. But it's going to be reconciled. We have a two of cups here. It's like, why were you put through that then? Why were you put through something that made you lose sleep? It was a tough choice. Seven of water. It was a really hard choice for you to make. Maybe it was a choice in jobs or people, love life. Who knows? Okay, let's see. A tower hits. <laughs> the tower will be a, a surprise or a shock. Someone sits of air. So it could be somebody returning. Again, you have a choice to make. Okay. Page of Swords. There's a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Wow, okay, Nine of Swords kind of flipping in the reverse, which means you're over it, but there it is, Nine of Swords. High Priestess, Secrecy, things that are known. The So we have the, the Virgo or um, somebody will reveal, and there is the sun, so there is happiness or something being revealed. Okay, we have a Nine of Cups underlying. There is some kind of happy feeling associated with something. Aries, why are you worried about it? Nine of Coin. You're, it's on your own terms. It could be financially motivated. We do have a Ten of Pentacles. Let's see. What is the Sun bringing out? Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. 
something you've been waiting for. Maybe you've made up your mind. Uh, you know, you have a, a lot invested into a situation. And what is this about? The world, a great achievement. With the Knight of Fire, so we have a great achievement. Queen of Fire, Aries Leo Sag, Knight of Cups coming in with Magician. They're coming in to fix, arrange, solve. Uh, there is a karmic with the judgment, the Knight of Cups. There's a resurrection, there's a renewal, revival. Something's being looked at carefully, Eight of Pentacles. Four of Cups to a Ten of Wands. It's like you were rejected before and now you're not. Okay, let's... Let's get the Witch's Wisdom again. I just want one card here to clarify what's going on with Aries. I don't know why that's happening. Hexing and banishing. The altar of dedication. The high priest of responsibility, your guardian familiar. I mean, how do they all come out? I did shuffle. Remembering your ancestors. And then we have something about something happening in the summertime. Something happening in the summertime. What happened in the summer? We have the hearth of homecoming. Okay, so something that would make you feel like you're coming home. Tarot, seeking tarot cards for guidance. Okay. And something was cloaked, cloaked and concealed. Kept hidden, not, not shown, not known. This returns to you. It was a secret. You're going to find this out. It's coming in with the world, which is a good thing. We've got positive cards around a tower with um, revelation. You've got this hermit card revealing the truth. You've got the sun, happy. You've got ten of pentacles, investments over a long period of time. There could, there's a water sign energy here, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Someone with compassion. You also have a choice that could be made here. So that's what I have. Thank you and I'll see you next time.